Have you ever wondered how worm infections can affect horses? It's a common question that's often left unanswered in the equine world. In today's discussion, we're going to shed some light on this prevalent issue. Worm infections in horses, while not a pleasant topic, is a crucial one that requires our attention. Why, you may ask? Because understanding these infections, their causes, symptoms and treatments can make a world of difference in maintaining the health and well-being of these magnificent creatures. Knowledge, after all, is the first line of defense. In the course of this video, we'll delve into the causes that lead to these infections, the telltale signs that your horse might be affected, and the potential treatments that can help them bounce back to their robust selves. So saddle up and get ready for an informative ride. Join us as we delve into the world of equine health and explore the ins and outs of worm infections in horses. Understanding the root of the problem is the first step. So what causes worm infections in horses? Let's start with the most common source of worm infections in horses, pasture grazing. You see, horses are grazing animals, and as they roam about, they ingest worm larvae that are present on the grass or in the soil. These larvae mature into adult worms in the horse's gut, leading to an infection. But not all worms are created equal. Different types of worms will affect horses in different ways. For instance, small strongyles or carthostomins are the most common and potentially harmful worms in horses. These tiny parasites can burrow into the lining of the horse's gut, causing inflammation and discomfort. Large strongyles, on the other hand, are less common but can be more severe. These worms migrate through the blood vessels, potentially causing blockages that can lead to colic, a significant health risk for horses. Roundworms or ascarids are particularly problematic for young, growing horses. These large worms can cause a blockage in the intestines, leading to severe health problems. And let's not forget about the tapeworms, which horses can pick up from forage mites in the pasture. These flat segmented worms can cause colic by attaching to the horse's gut lining. But it's not just grazing that's the issue. Worm infections can also occur in stabled horses due to contaminated environments. If a horse with a worm infection defecates in its stable or pasture, it can contaminate the environment with worm eggs or larvae. Other horses can then become infected by ingesting these eggs or larvae, either directly from the contaminated environment or indirectly through flies that have picked up the eggs or larvae. In short, a horse's environment plays a significant role in their susceptibility to worm infections. But what are the signs of such an infection? Well, stay tuned because that's what we'll be discussing in the next segment. A horse can't tell you it's feeling unwell, however, there are signs we can look for to identify a possible worm infection. These signs can vary, but there are several common symptoms that may indicate a worm infestation. Firstly, unexplained weight loss is often a giveaway. If your horse is eating well but still shedding pounds, it's worth considering a worm infection as a possible culprit. The worms can interfere with the horse's ability to absorb nutrients, leading to weight loss even when the horse's appetite seems normal. Next, a dull coat. A horse's coat is one of the best indicators of its overall health. A shiny coat suggests good health, while a dull, lackluster coat may signal a problem. If you notice that your horse's coat has lost its usual luster, it might be time to consider the possibility of a worm infection. Diarrhea is another symptom that can point to a worm infection. Worms can disrupt the horse's digestive system, leading to loose stools. If your horse has persistent diarrhea, a worm infection could be the cause. Colic too can be a sign of a worm infection. While colic can have many causes, a worm infection is one potential culprit. Worms can cause blockages in the horse's intestines, leading to severe abdominal pain known as colic. If your horse is showing signs of colic, it's crucial to get a vet involved as soon as possible. Lastly, a severe infestation can lead to more serious health problems. These can include damage to the horse's internal organs, poor growth in foals, and even life-threatening complications. If your horse is showing multiple symptoms or seems particularly unwell, it's essential to seek veterinary advice immediately. Recognizing these symptoms early can make a huge difference in managing a worm infection. So, how can we treat these infections? Thankfully, a worm infection in horses is not a death sentence. There are several treatment options available. Now, when it comes to treating worm infections in horses, it's essential to remember that every horse is unique and what works best for one may not be the same for another. This is where the expertise of a trusted veterinarian comes into play. 
Regular veterinary checkups and consultations can ensure a tailored treatment plan that best suits your horse's needs. One of the most common and effective treatments for worm infections is the use of deworming medications. These drugs are designed to paralyze or kill the worms, allowing the horse's body to naturally expel them. Dewormers come in various forms, from oral pastes and granules to injections, offering flexibility in administration. That being said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Keeping the horse's environment clean is crucial in preventing reinfestation. This includes regular removal of manure from stalls and pastures, rotating pastures and avoiding overstocking. Remember, the goal is not to eradicate all worms, since some worms are a natural part of a horse's gut flora. The aim is to control the population to prevent them from causing harm. So, consult with your vet, administer deworming medication as advised, and maintain a clean environment. With these measures in place, you're well on your way to safeguarding your horse's health. With the right treatment plan and care, a horse can recover from a worm infection and lead a healthy life. Today, We've learned about worm infections in horses, the causes, symptoms and treatment options. We've delved into the reasons such infections occur, the telltale signs to look out for and the effective treatments available. It's crucial to stay vigilant about your horse's health, taking note of any changes and consulting with a vet if symptoms arise. If you found this video helpful or interesting, show some appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing for more. This helps us a lot so we can make more informative videos about horses.